Hey guys, welcome back to SMA. My name is Carl. Hey, last week I was lucky enough to do an interview with Men's Health Magazine. And the guy who interviewed me, his name was Quinn, uh, he asked a couple questions about what I meant by having a, um, what did I mean about having a midlife crisis? And it got me thinking that, you know, I, when I did my first introduction video, I don't think I did a good job of explaining the things that I'm dealing with or the things that I'm thinking when I started this channel. So I wanted to take the time to take a couple quick minutes here and just go over some of my thoughts, share them with you. Uh, there should be five minutes in and out like the wind. So here we go. Um, what I mean by midlife crisis is that in the back of my head, there is this running dialogue. Um, and I would say that it consists of fear and maybe a little bit of desperation. What do I mean by that? Well, let's talk about the fear. Uh, so there are three things that I think about when, I, when it comes to fear. Three things that really kind of get me. The first most obvious is, well, death, right? Death, death just bothers me. I'm 48 years old. I like to say I'm having a midlife crisis, but what are the odds that I'm going to hit 96? Not good, I don't think. So that means I'm a little, I'm beyond halfway. And the fact that I have gotten this old and I haven't accomplished the things I wanted to accomplish, that, that freaks me out a little bit. And it, it does put a little desperation in my life and that's something I want to deal with. So that's one thing. As I mentioned before, accomplishments. So this may be a bit arrogant, but I've always felt like I'm a pretty smart guy. I always felt like, you know, I did, when I applied myself, I did well in school. A couple of years I was in college, I did well in college. Um, but my, my work accomplishments, the things that I've uh, could put down on my resume of here are the things that I've accomplished in my life it bothers me it's not what I would have liked to have had happen so I ended up taking a factory job and I hit a couple other factories and finally I ended up in the place that I am now and it's a good job I don't have any complaints about the job I have it's always put food on the table it allows me to do a few things here and there I have good bosses but it's not what I really you know, it's, it's not what I had imagined, you know, in my 20s. The fact that I haven't accomplished the things that I want to accomplish, which is part of the reason for this channel. When I say taking a shot, you know, this is me taking a shot, trying out something that, um, quite frankly, I don't know if I'm going to be good at. I have no clue. I'm not a person who uh, you'd consider creative, creative or artistic. You know, you watch the, the people who do really well on there and they on YouTube and they shoot some really crazy stuff and you know they're wizards with cameras and editing and you know bigger than life personalities and I don't know that I'm actually I'm five foot four I think I'm shorter than life so I mean there's there's all that the third and final thing would be family stuff so you know in my um, my family my parents they have a lot of issues with their grandparents. Um, and I won't go into that, that's not my story to tell. But they had a lot, of, a lot of tension. And over the years, I've had a lot of tension with my parents. Um, and again, I'm not gonna go into those details because it affects people who might be watching and that's just not fair to anybody. But one of my big fears is, you know, what kind of, how are my kids gonna remember me? Have I been a good father? Have I been a good husband? Um, it's one of those things that's like I, I want to finish this journey out whatever my life will look like for the last whatever it is 30 years 40 years um, I want it to, to finish out well and I have a real fear that it won't so those those three things really you know tie in together um, to form what I would call my midlife crisis this fear of the things being undone, that I won't do well, that I haven't done well. And it makes me very anxious, makes me very nervous. Oh, there was something in the water there. That was, that was a little goofy. 
Well, that's it. That's what I got. So, here's my question to you. When you, as you're entering middle age, what are the things that are concerning you? What are the things that make you anxious or nervous? Um, why don't you put that down there and the, the blah blah below and I'll take a look at them and maybe we can, you know, reassure one another. That would be a, a, a positive thing, I think. Uh, this video will go up on a Friday and I'll be, I'll be leaving on vacation. So I actually have videos already uploaded to YouTube that will um, post for the next two Tuesdays because I won't be at home for it. But you will have that information. You will have those videos coming. Um, I will try to be available online, but I, again, I'm going to be on vacation and my daughters are very excited, so I want to make sure that I engage with them there. So you guys have a great week, great weekend, and we will see you later. Have a good one. Bye.